Welcome to Imperial and Galactic Survival, and this is the AV Mangrove. It's a tier 1 uh, of a vessel, it has one Gatling gun, it's made out of carbon, it has four other engines, and uh, it has a container controller for ammo. It's unlocked on level 5, it's got two fridges, and it's got this cool design. I think it looks kind of alien-y, it's got the detector, the wireless connection, it's got the good things. It's a starter HV, and it moves very well. So let's go inside and, and let's see how it moves. There you go. It's pretty damn fast. Uh, I'm gonna turn on this thing so that it's good going. What's an worthy, worthy opponent? A tree. There you go. Let's kill a tree. That's a tough tree, man. Jesus. There you go. No chance in hell. So, it kind of looks uh, very simple in terms of colors and design. I gave this nice little things. it doesn't have a lot of lights, it does have a spotlight over there, back uh, behind my head. And I, I, I experiment with different blocks that I never used before, and I'm kind of happy. These are not armored glass, this is just the normal glass, because the armored glass would have a bigger recipe and would be harder to get, because this is supposed to be a starter HV. So, Let's take a look at the stats real quick. Uh, CPU. It's a tier 1, as you can see. It's uh, made out of carbon, the windows are normal. In terms of statistics, it moves very well. It's still adjusting, apparently. And the recipe is just pretty damn cheap. Made in 12 minutes, it's still got a, a Gatling and a detector, which is pretty cool. So let's see, uh, unlocked on level 5, size class 1. It's a very small ship, but it's a very cool starter uh, HV. So let's expand and see. The container controller can can staff uh, two full stacks of 15 mil because these ones don't take a lot of room, and I still got some room enough. So I don't even need a full stack like a thousand of these ones. Will be plenty, and I still got uh, 775, which for a starter HV is pretty good. It's got a cockpit, a core, wireless connection detector, a couple fridges, a normal fuel tank, not the small one, a normal generator too, four repulsor engines, two lights, two RCSs, they did help quite a bit, and a Gatling gun. Uh, the RCSs are back here underneath the fridges, and they seem like they improved quite a bit. I don't know if it's just the dimensions and the structure itself, the design of the ship, because sometimes the RCSs don't seem to have a big influence on the ship, but this time they sure did. At night, we got some nice glowies, which uh, kind of helps with the with the alien look, and those textures with these little lights pop out, and I think it looks kind of cool. It's uh, very easy to see it from afar, in case we go looting and something. Uh, I, I don't know, I like the design, it's very different from what I usually doing. I set out to do an alien -y type of ship, something that wouldn't look very human. I think I accomplished, but I, at the same time it, it, it does have uh, familiar features, I would say. And I gave this little design so that it kind of looks like it has blades rotating to lift the ship, you know. Uh, I think I think it worked out. I think it worked out. That's pretty cool. So this is already available at my Steam Workshop. I got a lot of other ships. You can check it out. The link will be in the description below. And let's see. Am I forgetting about something? I already showed this. I showed the CPU, the statistics. No, I think I'm just gonna show the design a little bit better. So daytime is much better just to see. So as you can see, I put the gap here. I turn on the light. These little blades kind of look like blades, like they're rotating. It's the sort of to give the impression of that. Uh, the core generates the part down here. Now mind you, this doesn't have a shield and it's made out of carbon. So it does have a get, you know, for a certain situation it's useful to have. And it can be upgraded to steel and stuff, but it's a starter HP. So if you see a lot of drones, you better just zip it. Otherwise, you're not going to have much of a ship uh, after that. And uh, I kind of like how we can see the, the container extension inside. We can access both fridges and the container control from the back. And that's pretty much all we need to access. In the first uh, iteration of this, I had cargo boxes. 
But then I thought, well, I can't really access the cargo box in the middle because of the window. What if I just put a container controller and a Gatling gun? So there you go. The detector is outside too, so it's kind of, it's going to be a little bit of a bummer. Because it's probably going to be the first thing that gets destroyed. Uh, so, <laughs> but there you go. Uh, I'm going to get out of guard mode and turn on the jetpack so that you can see we can get in and out. And uh, it's pretty simple. We just step out of it like this. So there you go. It's the AV Mangrove. It's already available at my Steam Workshop. Thank you for watching and until next time.